Hi everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're gonna remake an old classic, my three bean salad. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. Okay, today I'm going to redo my favorite three bean salad recipe. Now we've done this recipe before, maybe literally 12 years ago. Um, but I think it's time for an update because we always, you know, we always are looking to update our quality on our videos. And today is that day because I was getting ready to make three bean salad and I thought, perfect. That's what we're going to do for today's video. So three bean salad is a real throwback, but it is a true favorite among many. It is one of Rick's favorites. I love it. It's a really great salad to have on hand in the fridge. It goes great next to just about anything because it's got this sweet and sour taste tangy flavor with the dressing and you can make this to suit your own needs but today we're going to just do a classic version and I am making this sugar free for us because that's where we are right now. So I have one 14 ounce can of green beans that are drained. I have one 14 ounce can of yellow wax beans that are drained. Now these are just green beans that are yellow and they are a little more expensive and you may have to search for them because I have one grocery store in my area only where I can purchase these and that would be the Harris Teeter which is a Kroger grocery store. Um, they are about twice the price of a regular can of green beans but in this salad I want them there, so I'm gonna spend the extra. If you don't wanna spend the extra, you can certainly do a two bean salad and just do two cans of green beans and it's all gonna come out the same. These taste just like green beans, so I'm, you know, it's just for looks. And I have one can of dark red kidney beans that I have drained and rinsed and drained again. And then if you don't like red kidney beans, you can use butter beans, you can use lima beans, you can use chickpeas, you can use whatever, like white navy bean or what have you that you prefer. You can make this a five bean salad, you can make this 12 bean salad, it's entirely up to you. Um, it's gonna be great, but make sure that you put green beans in it because that really makes a difference from the just having the dried beans. So we're gonna go with a cup of diced onion. I've diced this pretty small. A cup of bell pepper, and I have some red and orange peppers in the bottom here, but I just do like a quarter of my green pepper that I had, and about a cup of finely sliced celery. We're gonna build the dressing using a half a cup each of vegetable oil. This is sunflower oil. Apple cider vinegar, mine has the mother in it, that's why it's cloudy. And sweetener of your choice, today I'm using Splenda or Sucralose. You can use white sugar, you can use whatever sweetener you prefer here. And I have all of my seasonings. So I have a teaspoon each of cracked black pepper and kosher salt, along with a teaspoon of onion powder and garlic powder and a half teaspoon of celery seed. So now we're gonna build our salad. Okay, so first we're gonna build our dressing in the bottom of the bowl. So that means we're gonna add our oil, our apple cider vinegar, and like I said, mine has the mother in it and that's why it has those little floaties. It's perfectly fine. And we're gonna add our sweetener of choice and all of our seasonings. And we're gonna give this a good whisk. If you're gonna use any kind of sweetener that is like granulated, like my Splenda or regular white sugar, then I like to just whisk this until that dissolves in there and it's nice and homogenous. Already smells like three bean salad. And now we're just gonna add all of our other ingredients, our beans. There goes our wax beans, our green beans, our kidney beans, our bell pepper, our onion, and our celery. And then, you guessed it, we're gonna get a big spoon and we're gonna stir it up. Just make, beautiful. it's beautiful. And this, you know what else? This is really good not to just have in your fridge. We like to eat off of this for, you know, to put next to a sandwich or it's really great like as a side dish to just about anything. Did you throw some chicken on the grill and you don't wanna cook an extra veggie? Boom, three bean salad to the rescue. Do you wanna put something in your, in your packed lunch that's delicious, that's gonna go with your sandwich but it isn't a chip? Boom, three bean salad to the rescue. This is also a wonderful option to take if you're sharing um, a potluck 
dinner or like we go to a community group for our church once a week and everybody brings something to share. This is always a lovely option because it's refreshing, it's nostalgic, and everybody loves it even if they forgot that they loved it. So I'm going to pop this in a container to store in the fridge and then I'm going to serve up a little dish of it and I'll be right back. Well, there you have it. I went ahead and I popped my three bean salad in a refrigerator container. This will last up to a week, maybe even a little bit longer. As it sits, it will produce a bit more liquid, but we really love that. We actually serve it up with the juice in it because it's that tasty. The dressing on this is incredible, but it's so simple that you know, you're not even gonna believe the burst of flavor that you get out of this salad. If you've never had three bean salad, or if you've only ever had three bean salad out of a jar or a can, I guarantee you, you're gonna fall in love with this. It's so easy. You can make this with stock from your pantry and stock from your garden because we all have things getting ready to come out of the garden very soon. Green peppers, onions, celery if you're growing that, but I always have that on hand. And it's just super easy to throw together. It's very fresh tasting and it really tastes like a treat. And everyone loves this. So even though Rick knows what this tastes like, he's gonna taste it for you, right? If I have to. You have to. I'm trying to get you a little bit of everything here. And that's like the perfect bite, a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. And you can't tell that I made it with sweetener. If you are someone who is on a restricted diet and needs to have sweetener, I promise you, you're never gonna know that you didn't make this with sugar. It is that delicious. So that's how you make three bean salad. We love revisiting our old videos and we love remaking them for you because it's important to us that we bring you the best quality videos that we possibly can. And this classic three bean salad is no exception. I hope you give it a try sometime soon and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.